My hairs are tickling my nose. So, oh, I shared something, and I don't remember where I shared it. I think it was Facebook. It may have been my, I don't know. I don't know where I shared it. It may have been my personal Facebook page. It may have been Twitter. But I shared something that was about not taking things personally, and someone asked, you know, how do you not take things personally? Um, and so I've been thinking about that comment, and this was a few weeks ago, and I, it's been a while, you know, since I was someone who took things personally, so I really need to think about that. Like, well, how, what, what does, what do, what do you need to change, you know, if you have a hard time and you're taking things personally? Uh, so I've been thinking about it for a few weeks, and uh, I thought it was time I kind of put it down in a video and just share a few thoughts I have uh, and tips for learning how to not take things personally. Hmm, this is going to be a, a big topic. I hope I can make it quick. <laughs> So the first thing you really need to remember is that nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you respect, although I really think it would be good if people treated each other kindly and with respect. Um, you can't ex just expect other people to owe you that. You know, you hope for it, but some people are not going to give it. Uh, you can't, ex you know, you can't expect to or hope to control the way other people feel or think about you. Some people will not like you and you have to be okay with that. Some people may have good reason for not liking you and some people may dislike you just because your hair is a certain color or just because they don't like the way you smile. And there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to realize that when someone has this kind of an issue, they have the issue. You know, you don't have an issue. There's nothing wrong with your hair or your smile or, you know, whatever it is this person has decided to personally take offense to about you. Uh, you can't take that personally because that reaction in that person is something wrong inside of them. It is not reflective of you, although they are projecting maybe at you and, um, sending their feelings at you, justified or not, you have to really just realize that those feelings belong to those pers that, that person. And people are entitled to their feelings. Unfortunately, you know, we may not always agree with people's feelings, and sometimes people may have dangerous feelings, and I'm not even going to go into that. But, you know, feelings that aren't good for us to be around people that have those type of feelings. You know, it's like, okay, we need to be away from that because, you know, maybe it's like extreme anger or lashing out or, you know, abusive, you know, like those kinds of things. Like, people that are like that, we need to, we can get away from. <laughs> but, you know, people can have their feelings somewhere else um, if it's out of control. Um, and just realize that someone's feelings are their personal feelings. And don't take that personally because, like I said, the only thing you can work on are your own feelings. Uh, so those that's just my <laughs> advice, and I don't even know if that was particularly helpful about not taking things personally. Um, anyone else? I, I guess, you know, a little exercise is, you know, when someone is nasty to you, um, just try to remind yourself that, you know, you don't know, maybe they're just having a bad day or a bad week or maybe, you know, their mom died, I don't know. You just try to remind yourself that you don't know what's happening in the other person's world. And this is just stuff I kind of learned, um, oh man, only in the past few years. But, you know, just understand that that person's mind and world is totally different than yours and you probably can't even understand it and they probably can't understand your world and your mind either if y'all are in such different perspectives and just let it go and just realize you know that's their deal that's their world and it is not your world and don't make it your world because that's just bringing drama into your world that doesn't need to be there 
that. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on not taking things personally. I really hope that was helpful in some way. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and maybe I'll do more videos like this. Um, also, let me, you know, if you enjoyed this video, if you uh, like the lighting, give me a thumbs up. Maybe I'll sit here more. I'm trying to figure out where I need to sit for lighting and, and it's just all a little bit different. Uh, but anyway, off track. Um, yeah, hi guys. I will talk to you next week. Bye. So, not taking things personally. It's reaching to my pocket. Father, I create my own luck. And I know. Pig, yes. Pig always has something to say. Um, 